What's up, y'all? So, other day, meltdown, right? Complete meltdown. Shoot, every worry in the book. Every worry in the book. And, and it put me in a place. Put me in a place I didn't want to be, right? It messed, it messed up my mind, my mindset, all that. So, right? Messed up my mindset. I was like, ah, I don't know. This decision, that decision, this didn't work, that didn't work. Everything's going bad. Maybe I want this, maybe I don't, I don't know, right? So trying to think about it, right? Trying to think about it. So having all that anxiety, I wasn't feeling myself that day at all. So remembered it was Sunday. It was Sunday. And... There was Bible study that was going to be on Zoom. And I was like, okay, cool. You know what? Maybe I should, you know, join in on this, you know, kind of see what's going to happen, all that, right? So I do that. Jump in. I'm talking to Jowie. I'm talking to Armando, right? And I'm, shoot, I'm pouring myself out. We're all talking, right? Everything. Everything's going good. Bible study's going good. Praying about it. Ben was like, oh, I don't know what I want. Explaining it to them, right? I'm explaining the difference. Explaining this relationship, right? And and it hits me. You know what? Instead of me fighting with these emotions, fighting with these feelings, with all these thoughts, right? Of who should I try to be with, right? Who should I try to be with? It's always been confirmation right there. It's always been confirmation. I need to stick to people that are going to build me up, love me, build with me, all of that, right? Because, like, with the whole news of me trying to keep the apartment and then the promotion didn't go through, put me in, like, a mindset of, like, uh, man, life just sucks right now. Like, it sucks. Like... Like, I don't know what to do. Everything is going wrong. This is going wrong. That's, that's like, it's like, why? Like, why? So, I was like, man, I just want to be alone. I just want to be depressed, all that. And I had to kind of snap out of it, right? I had to snap out of it. And... I'm like, here I am preaching that I'm enjoying the new life. I'm enjoying what the future holds, right? And I'm over here dwelling on the past. Like, could I have done better? Should I have done better? Could I have actually done better, right? And I'm like, you know what? God's blessed me right now with where I'm at. And you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to go full sand into this, right? I'm going to full sand into this and just be me. Enjoy everything that's going on. Um, the blessings going to come. Um, there's going to be ups and downs, right? And everything. So one thing I've learned is if there's been people in your life, you can appreciate the moments that you had with them, but it doesn't mean you always have to keep going back to it, right? Shoot, like I've come across so many people in my life that have meant a lot to me, that I've had memorable memories with, right? And they're great people, great hearts, some, you know, a little crazier than others, all that, right? But I appreciate the moments. I appreciate the journey, right? So, like, I think I just have to officially, officially just close the chapter to the last book, right? I just need to close that last chapter. I need to continue this book that is called My Life. And shoot, it's painful. It's painful. Because like I'm scared of what the future holds. Um I'm scared of change. I'm scared of anything new. But there's no signs of why I should be scared. Right? There's no signs of that. So I'm just gonna have to keep going, pushing through, right? Everything is gonna happen for a reason. I prayed Went to, uh, was on the Bible study, met another person on there. It was really powerful. I haven't felt like that in a long, long time, 
right? And they're talking about these other people in the group. I'm like, man, I want to meet all of them, right? All that. And then, like, if I don't work the next time, I want to be able to go to Bible study with the homie. Um, Joe, I know he invited me, so I might have to do that as well, right? So I'm just trying to be me. I'm trying to figure this all out and understand that God's got me, no matter if it's on his time, because it's never going to be in my time. It's always going to be his time, but he's got me. He's got me. So closing the chapter to one part of my life, opening the chapter to a new scary it's scary but i never want to be in the way of someone else's happiness so that's the biggest reason for this ready for a new kind of but gotcha <laughs>